Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a general tarot reading for the sign of Libra. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. This is a general tarot reading for Libra for November 2022 guys. Okay let's get into your reading. As usual I'll be clarifying with our kid deck and if you stay to the end you'll have your own guidance messages for the month of November for Libra. Okay, let's have a look. The first card out is the Magician. Okay. Magician there. The same go for the top. King of Wands. Now I've been told go to the bottom. Wow, the Lovers card. Now the same goes to the top again. The world. Crazy, these cards are very nice. If you could hit the thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. It just tells me that you resonate. And it also helps me to connect with you guys when doing your readings. Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands. Okay, two wanted to come out here. Let's go with these. Okay, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. And I'm going to take this one as the one with the energy on the bottom of the deck, which is Temperance. Because that wanted to flow out. Okay, temperance. So balancing of the situation here, Libra. Okay, let's make sure everything's in focus for you. And we'll start your reading. If you could like, comment, subscribe. And click the little not notification bell. You'll be notified when I upload fresh new videos. So the first card we've got out for the month of November, Libra, is the Magician card. And here, this is if you're manifesting someone or something into your life, here. Yeah. What the cards are telling me is that you've got everything in front of you that you need to make a success of something that you want or that you desire. Uh, the magician usually has the four suits in front of him. And all elements that he can manifest his hearts and desires and his wishes. Now next to that we've got the King of Wands. This is someone who feels very passionately about something here. A very strong willed. This is definitely a love reading here Libra. Um, and the reason why I say that is because, yes, we've got the lover's card, there's a choice here. We've got the world. There's something that's coming to an end. Now, this is not a love reading in the way that you would think. Because here, I think we've got somebody who has wanted to manifest love but it, it's as if they're scared to get into that under the magician we've got the knight of cups here so it's as if you're manifesting or you want to manifest somebody a nice romantic partner into your life someone that you can connect to on a an emotional level but with the king of wands it's may it may be that you've connected to somebody here who doesn't open up and has got their barriers up because under the king of wands we've got the nine of wands which is somebody who doesn't let anybody in or doesn't let just anybody in 
you know they they kind of screen people they have their boundaries up because normally they've been hurt in the past here and this could be i have a feeling this is the person that you're dealing with i don't think it's you um i think this is a new connection that will be coming into your life libra and this person may have a choice between you and somebody else but you are single here, you're successful, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who has everything but they don't have the, the, the relationship, the love relationship. I feel that this person is coming from either a bad breakup or they're coming from a connection where it didn't go very well for them and they may be ending it to be with you. We've got the World card here. And underneath we've got the three of swords which is you know there's a there's pain here in this disconnection or this ending that they're going through as i say i don't believe that this is you i believe that this is um a connection that you will be connecting with if you haven't already done so in november and it's a connection that is a romantic connection but this problem has this person has problems this person has emotional baggage and that is from a past relationship so they've got their boundaries up okay let's clarify this reading for you libra if you could hit the thumbs up helps me connect and it helps you connect with me for future readings i'm looking at the cards and it's, it's an interesting read because it's it's somebody who has who is finding a painful ending if anything i had to say with this there's a painful ending here with somebody and it's either they've, they've gone and concentrated on their work and they've kind of blocked love off but i don't think it's you i think it's the person that you're going to be connecting with in the month of november can you clarify the king of wands please clarify the king of wands unexpected income okay unexpected income clarify again great fortune wow unexpected income great fortune hmm. well if, if this is a career reading turning your back on love to concentrate on your coin is coin is definitely going to be working for you we go again with that community this could be someone you know in your community that is actually very well off and uh, they you know they don't have a good romantic relationship because they actually concentrate on their business on their entrepreneurial things more than they do on their personal relationships and it could be that you've met this person it could be that you're going through a painful ending and that you're going to meet this person. But there is a choice here with the lover's card. And the choice, I mean, below the lover's card, we've got the nine of pentacles, which is the career, the successful person. It could be that this person has to make the decision or there's a decision to, you know, not just spend all their time on their work, focus on their work, but also split their time between you know the life balance of you know pleasure and work life let's clarify the lover's card and there we go there's the main male there yep, the main male this is a, a successful entrepreneurial type person here can you clarify the three of swords please and they're saying to me flip the deck so okay 
And there we go, there is Thoughts card, number 16, with the Three of Swords. So th this person could have come from a, th a third party situation or they've come from they're coming from a breakup they're in a stable relationship now but they've got somebody else on their mind here that they may want a new start with and it's causing them a little bit of heartache i mean we have got a third party card here and now with the thoughts card this is kind of turning into a situation I feel where somebody is known in their community they could even be um, involved with or married to somebody they could have a family but um, they've got somebody else on their mind that person could be you Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Courtship. And that ties in exactly with the Knight of Cups. This is someone there who you can see the picnic blanket there. The, you know, they, they're wanting to court you. They're wanting to date you, this person. Mm. In fact, it's, it's like, you're either manifesting this because you like this person or they're, they're manifesting this. But you're on their mind. You're on this main male's mind here. But I believe that this person is connected with somebody else. Or they're just going through a breakup. Let's have another clarifying card on the main male, please. Lovers. There we go. Look, and we clarified. We asked to clarify the lovers. And then we clarified the lovers with the main male. And then we asked to clarify the main male. And we've got the lovers. I keep doing this. It's blows my absolutely blows my mind. With the cards sometimes but there we go i mean i'm gonna to have to clarify it again because this this is someone who clearly has to make a choice between someone or something here to clarify the lovers again please they're saying take the bottom one house so there could be a choice between your living arrangements at the moment this person may want you to move in with them they may be getting uh, moving out of where they are so they can be by themselves so they're free they're free to see and date whoever they want so it's still not clear to me this reading though this is i feel that there's a third party here because of the situation we've got going here And there's property involved, there's a new start involved, there's choices involved. But this person clearly is manifesting you. They want to come towards you with an offer of, you know, of, of dating. You could have even met this person online. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Marriage. Well, and there we go. I mean, this person here, I asked that to clarify the Nine of Pentacles, which is the single successful person card, and there's marriage there. So they obviously want a serious, and on top of all of these is marriage, the lover's card, a house, a main male, and the lover's card again. So there's someone there's somebody here who has has either just got out of a long term commitment or that's broken down but they want to start a serious relationship with you 
or that's vice versa. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. If we remember, well, we'll check what's on the bottom of the deck. Expectations, yes. Yeah, someone is expecting, you're either expecting this person to come towards you with, you know, with their offer of love, of how they feel about you here. This could be a Sagittarius. I mean, at the bottom of the deck we had temperance. But this is someone who is balancing also their work life and their love life introspectively here because we've got uh, the sun and the moon here being balanced this is someone who wants balance in their life now i think they've overworked they've got the great fortune they've got the wealth and now they want the love to go with that they want the stability of marriage with somebody okay libra we're moving on now to your angel guidance message cards for the month of november so if you could have in mind a yes and no question, we will start to pull out the cards for you here. So it's a yes and no question, if you've got that in mind, a timing question, and then just a general guidance over the month of November for you, Libra. So we've got a yes card. We've got a year from now. And we've got improving health. You can't really ask for more than that, can you there? Fabulous cards. Okay, and you've got improving health, Libra, in November. I hope that serves you well. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, hit the like button, uh, thumbs up. And always believe in yourself, guys. Follow your dreams and stay blessed. See you soon.